ladies and gentlemen. You know, over the last few months, it's no doubt that America is in some deep term oil. And it does not look like there's any simple way out. But there are a lot of people that have lost confidence in Trump. This came out in the Business Insider with the U.S. plunging into chaos and one in four American workers out of a job. Trump lacks a clear plan to revive the economy. So we know there are multiple crises going on in the country. We have an economic collapse, a coronavirus pandemic, and now a wave of large demonstrations against police killings of Black Americans. Over 40 million Americans filed for unemployment in the last three months, or around one in four people in the workforce. Economists expect the unemployment rate to hit nearly 20% for May, an increase from around 15% the month before. The cascading amount of job losses are particularly centered around the low wage sector. Around 40% of households earning under 40,000 annually were hit by job losses in March, according to the Federal Reserve. The pandemic, is also amplifying inequality. Just less than half of Black adults now have a job compared to 52% of white adults. The protests roiling in the country were sparked by, we know, the death of George Floyd, a black man who was killed by white police officers who knelt on his neck for over eight minutes in Minneapolis. The violence and anxiety that is taking place, we are naive if we think that it's separable from an economic calamity we are in. Yeah, and you're going to be in for a very long time because I don't see you getting out of this. There's no way. All right, so Trump administration still lack a clear plan for addressing rising unemployment as the U.S. plunges deeper into a state of social and economic crisis. Well, socially, America has always done poorly, you know, and everybody knows Americans, you know, the, the weakness in America is racism. It always have been. It always will be. So uh, it has adopted a wait and see approach and put negotiations on other stimulus bills on pause even as ramped up unemployment benefits supporting millions of Americans is set to expire July 31st, a sudden end to $600 in weekly unemployment payments could lead to a 50% to 75% pay cut for jobless people. Cutting federal aid that abruptly could risk intensifying the heated protests calling for legal and economic change. Ask about a plan to address the record levels of unemployment. On May 19th, Trump snapped at CBS News correspondent Paula Reed and said he was reopening the country. Oh, I think we've announced a plan. We're opening up our country. Just a rude person you are, the president said. We're opening it up very fast. Sure don't look that way to me. Look like you're dragging a lot on the reopening. (laughs) You don't have a choice. This country's in so much turmoil, it's not even funny. Some priorities of the administration so far include a payroll tax for workers and employers. And it is reviewing 
the idea of a return to work bonus for employees returning to old or new positions. It also supports a capital gains tax cut for investors. The White House did not respond to a request for comment. Mm -mm -mm. One of the things, uh, were you hoping the problem goes away without having to deal with it? And stick your head in the sand, he said, of the administration's response. Mm. Well, I don't see them responding because I think it's painfully obvious Trump don't have any plan other than open the country back up. That's his plan. That's it. You are having all of these problems come up that could have been avoided if we had taken steps that we needed to take, he said. It's going to cost the government more to take care of those problems. Senate Majority Leader Mitch McConnell said Congress would debate whether another rescue package was needed in July. Meanwhile, House Democrats passed a $3 trillion spending package last month that includes stimulus checks for families and maintains the $600 boost in weekly unemployment benefits through January. It would also expend, uh, extend a lifeline for cash-strapped states, but Republicans declare it dead on arrival in the Senate and refuse to take it up. Experts say the economy will likely need another round of spending to continue supporting the economy as the number of jobless people mounds in states confront plunging tax revenues. Federal dollars, through uh, though, have proven critical in bolstering people's incomes by 10.5% last month, a record increase. It also helped increase the savings rate. Well, they're going to have to do something. You know, no matter how you look at it, this is not the fault of any individual thing. I mean, it, it's a virus that really collapsed the economy of America. America is never going to come back like it was before. Anybody that think it is, you just need your head examined. This place is never coming back. No matter what you do, it will never fully come back. You know, there's not much you can do. You you got all kinds of protests going on in the country, probably during the worst time in this country's history, at least in this century. And this man, mm, y'all picked a gem to be in charge at this time. <laughs> man. You know, remember, they thought they were electing a businessman. And we've seen what he has done so far. Don't look very businesslike to me. I still say he looked like he's winging it every day. But y'all, please tell me what you think. Please leave your comment and subscribe. Don't forget to hit on the notification bell. And I'll see you on the next video. Peace, family.